Hello everyone, hope you're all well and thanks very much for all the support with my videos. I'm very, very grateful. We've seen the homeless and housing disaster in our society reach absolutely out of control proportions. Record homelessness, record rents, and now we have record house prices, which are well above the peak of the so-called Celtic Tiger. Because yesterday a report was released by the Central Statistics Office to state that property prices have increased nearly 9% in the past year. In Dublin, house prices have increased by 10%. Apartments have increased by nearly 7%. In the Munster region, property prices are up 12%, absolutely astronomical. And if you consider a house just down the road here, I mean, Gulliston College is here in Rat Mines, and the house just down there was uh, up on the market for 465,000 euro. These houses were built in the early 1900s for the working classes. Uh, a lot of fire workers with the work lived here from the fire station, which is just up across through that part of Rat Mines. The fire station is still intact on Rat Mines Road. And a lot of municipal council workers lived in these homes as well. But they're absolutely astronomical now, and nobody on any low or middle income can afford to live in this area unless they're a big investor that can buy this property and rent out at extortionate rents to people as well and if you consider the new house bills also as well in Irish society um, there was a report mentioned that a combined income of 107,000 euro uh, where would you be able to afford a three bed house a new built three bed house with a combined income of 107,000 euro well, the report mentioned five counties, Galway, Cork, Kildare, Wicklow and Meath. And the only county that would be available to purchase with that huge, huge income would be in County Meath. And that would include the 10% deposit you're putting down and plus on top of that, the Help the Boy Scheme, a government grant also as well. Now we've seen this happen in Ireland many, many times in terms of the housing and homelessness disaster, in terms of the extortionate profits being made by builders, by property investors, also by people on the, uh, who have benefited from the property crisis, the state agents, so forth as well, that are making huge money from government policies that have commodified housing and commodified housing like this that were built for the working classes uh, out of the reach of ordinary working class and ordinary people. And it's very important as well because the big facet of this has been the increase and encroachment of the foreign investors uh, because asset and prices have been kept high because so much money is looking for a safe haven and property in Ireland is an exceptionally safe haven and a very safe asset because of government policies. And it's also very important because so many of these have become built to rent. Uh, if you look at all the, the new properties all around Dublin in particular, and uh, a lot of that are coming around to a lot of major cities around Ireland also as well, Cork and Galway, are becoming built to rent apartments as well. Um, because the supply this year was 32,000 homes. And the majority of them would have been built to rent. Uh, very, few would be built directly through councils, local authorities. These homes here were built by Rat Mines and Rakar Urban District Council, as I said, for the working classes. And uh, not to mention the huge shortfall in housing according to the Housing Commission report, which stated that we needed up to 253,000 homes just to break even at the moment. Uh, we're in a huge deficit. Uh, the RSI has stated that we needed about 60,000 houses to be built per year, homes to be built a year way off that target as well. And also the population growth because the reports to say that the population will increase to about 6 million by 2030. And also today an interesting report came out to say that in the last 10 years in Ireland, uh, for every four people in the country, one home has been built. So with the added pressures because of immigration, pushing accommodation, rental costs high, keeping property prices high as well. Uh, it's showing you how many people are making money from our crisis and creating huge catastrophe in our society, uh, particularly amongst uh, people who are struggling 
to afford anywhere to live. And when you consider the prices here, it just shows you it's absolute, just completely extortionate um, for the property prices, especially homes that were built for the working classes. But this is all facilitated because of government policies, all facilitated because of the commodification of housing rather than seeing a home as a societal social good and that should be the foundation point of any society and any functioning and healthy society and not lead to the barbarity we see in terms of the astronomical homelessness the astronomical amount of people who have died on the streets most recently two men died just about a mile from here along the banks of the Grand Canal and in terms of the children in the incarceration facilities, which are emergency accommodation also as well at the sharpest end. Not to mention the thousands and thousands that are getting eviction notices by the day because land landlords are claiming to sell the property, but many times they're just kicking them out to extract higher rents of more and more people. But this is all manufactured, facilitated by government policies, not to mention the immigration chaos also as well, which is adding pressures to an already under pressure system. So, so many, so much money has been made out of property and it is ultimately a case of speculation rather than the whole adage that they always throw supply, 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 supply. Of course you need supply, but you need proper supply. You need homes built directly through local authorities, through councils, uh, where people have long-term security, affordable rents, uh, not the nonsense that a lot of the political parties try and talk about when they talk about affordable housing, whatever the hell that means, because that's just a cop-out. Uh, they also spoke, speak about cost rental and all these other uh, kinds of plans as well, which are absolutely unaffordable for the vast majority of people. So uh, we need real solutions to solve our housing crisis. It's going to get worse and worse as the population grows and more and more people are struggling to get anywhere to live. And not to mention the government can move mountains to provide accommodation such as modular housing for many people now where they couldn't do it for years uh, because of so-called constraints <laughs> because of brussels and our the fiscal space that we have to comply with when we have to uh, hand our budgets over how's it going Leon? thanks a lot hand, hand our uh, budgets over to brussels uh, rather than stand up for the interests of ordinary people here in Ireland. So this is what's happening and one case in point you can see it's a huge, huge property owners market. It's a huge market for the bankers making huge profits again, extracting huge windfalls with profits at record levels uh, not to mention interest rates rising as well which bolster the profits of the big bankers again who again are always making money. So who does the political establishment represents. They don't represent the interests of ordinary people. And the nonsense they try and portray all the time is that we'll get more supply. Well, what kind of supply do they want? Supply for vulture funds, supply for the rich and wealthy and the oligarchs, not supply for ordinary people, which is the same that was built up here in Goodison for the working classes of the early 20th century, when the country had, even the foundation of the state, when the country had next to no money, they still built homes for people but now they can't. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> Absolute nonsense in Irish society. So uh, thanks for all the support of my videos. Please share them. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel also as well. So from Dublin, Salon. See you all soon. Take care. Thank you.